Okay. Uh, oh, hey, pal. I didn't see you there. Welcome to the party. You're for the neighborhood, Master Chaos. Uh, back with you once again. Uh, you find me currently surrounded in boxes. What I have before me right now is my pre-Black Friday shopping haul. Now, technically, these are Halloween sales. I'm going to call it pre-Black Friday because, let's face it, it is. You know, Vinegar Syndrome and Severin, they have their halfway to Black Friday sales. They don't, they don't call it April Showers sale or, you know, whatever the hell May is known for sale. No, they don't do that. They say halfway to Black Friday. So, uh, I was just planning to unbox these and since you're here, why don't you stick around and join me and, and see what I got because I'm going to be 100% honest, I don't remember what I ordered. And that's uh, kind of the fun of being a collector. You, you know, buy so much stuff and then packages come. And you're like, holy shit, what is this? Then you open it. You're like, what the hell? Did I order this? I guess I did. You put it on your shelf and hopefully you love it. And that's life. So uh, let's unbox these and then I'll be back a little later. And um, I'm going to have a money saving tip for all you collectors out there. So stick around for that. And uh, for now, uh, let's tear into this shit. Let's see, I've tried that. Most of the stuff is in the dishwasher. Uh, uh, could use this, but I've used this one before. It's not as interesting, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Okay, gangbang, here are the packages. First one here is from Kino Lorber, Care of Technicolor. How cool is that? Next is from the fine folks at Mondo Macabro who pull out uh, some really crazy crap out of their ass and uh, uh, put it on Blu-ray so that we can enjoy it. And then, of course, uh, Full Moon Features. You got a, little, uh, you got a little something special from Full Moon Features here. Something a little different. Okay, you bad mama jamas. The first box that includes my pre-Black Friday haul is Kino Lorber, and it's got a varied, varied selection of titles. Number one, Devilfish, Lamberto Bava's Devilfish, with uh, Michael Sop, Sopkiwi, Sopkiwi, I'm not sure how you pronounce that name, but uh, there you go. Uh, Code Reds, Devilfish. That's weird that... Uh, Kino had this, but uh, that's where I got it. Special features, brand new, uh, extensive color correction, done in America, and audio commentary. Okay, cool. Uh, color correction is not necessarily a special feature, but all right. Uh, I'm very excited to see this movie because of the fact that it's got a really crazy looking uh, underwater creature. Paul Nashi, baby. Paul Nashi in Crimson, a film by Juan Fortuny. Also known as The Man with the Severed Head. It's got uh, both cuts on here. I love anything Nashi. If you've been following along with this channel, you know I am a Nashi fan. I got to meet him in person, which was amazing. This has the standard 89-minute version and the complete, more sexually explicit 98-minute version, which is, of course, the only version I will be watching we're going to get fancy pantsy now. Universal's production extraordinaire of Jules Verne's The 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. New 4K restoration. This is amazing. This is the original silent 20,000 Leagues. Awesome. I actually didn't even know this existed. Audio commentary by film historian and a musical score by Orlando Perez Rosso. Okay. Uh, here we go. It is 86 minutes. 133. Silent course english titles amazing how wonderful is this oh okay I've, I've seen this footage the uh the the, the seahorse divers or whatever i've seen this footage before but uh gosh i've always wanted to own this the first submarine photo play ever filmed oh baby first of all i love the redemption line they, they put they put out some of my favorite movies of all time mostly from jean roland i'm a big jean roland fan the Grapes of Death is one of my favorite Jean Roland movies. This is such a wonderful movie. If you don't know it, well, I highly recommend you you, you track it down. Uh, it's in French. It's an introduction with Jean Roland, interview with uh, Jean Roland, a 16-page booklet, by, essay by Tim Lucas, who is a straight badass. 
It's about, uh, well, polluted wine produced in a, in a village's annual grape harvest. Basically, it turns people into zombies. So it's got grapes of death because these poison grapes make people uh, rabid and, and, and zombie-like. And it is just phenomenal. It stars uh, the amazing uh, Brigitte LaHaye, who's, that's her right there. She's such a beautiful lady. From 1978, The Grapes of Death. Woo, baby. Very excited to have this. Woo hoo hoo! This sounded like crazy times. I bought a vampire motorcycle. Look at that cover. That guy bought a vampire motorcycle. He's not very happy about it. And there is the vampire motorcycle. I don't, I don't know. That drawing doesn't even make any sense to me. I don't really, like, what is that? Wait, is that a head? Uh, is that a. Oh, I see. It's like a headlight. Anyway, Neil Morrissey, Michael Elphick. I don't know much about it except for that it has just an amazing damn title. Audio commentary with the director, featurette, a documentary. Uh, how's that different? We made a vampire motorcycle. How's that different from a featurette, I wonder? I wonder what separates the differences there. I don't know much about it, but it's got a 4K restoration. When a Satanist biker is killed, his spirit uh, possesses his old motorcycle. God damn. God damn. That sounds like a genius concept. Oh boy, the House of Long Shadows. First of all, look at this cast. Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, John Carradine, and Desi Arnaz. House of the Long Shadows. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Now, I think I've heard that this isn't very good, but um, I don't know. I like to see them all together. That, that really makes me happy. Uh, Pete Walker's House of Horrors interview with Pete Walker. Oh, it's a Pete Walker movie? I'm not a Pete Walker fan, to be honest. Ugh, actually, <laughs> funny enough, I kind of kind of hate everything that Pete Walker's ever made. Next is Doom Watch. This is another film that I've, uh, I have it on VHS. I collected it on VHS, a big box VHS, just because I love the cover. I don't know anything about it. A remote island village, a terrifying secret. I may have seen it years and years ago, but uh, I, I think I get it mistaken with Island of Terror, which is kind of a similar film. Uh, this has an on-camera interview with Judy Geeson. That's Judy Geeson, very pretty lady. I do a commentary with the director and an on-camera intro by the director. Uh, 92 minutes from 1972. A remote island is uh, basically um, uh, under siege by some kind of creature. And uh, I think it's mutating people as well. I may be mistaken on that. This is a, a documentary I've been wanting to get for a while. Christopher Lee's uh, In Search of Dracula. There really was a Dracula. And uh, it is uh, now on blue. Luckily, 82 minutes from 1975. Audio commentary by uh, two film historians there. This is a... Uh, uh, as far as I know, I may be mistaken... It is a documentary. Okay, In Search of Dracula exposes the fictional monster and his real-life counterpart, Vlad the Impaler, while also showing for the first time on film the infamous Borgo Pass. Oh, badass. Borgo Pass. Anybody who knows Dracula knows Borgo Pass, man. Famous location. Uh, so this is a, kind of a, a pseudo-documentary about the history of Dracula and in, the, in Search of the Real Dracula. This is great. I actually really wanted to watch this for Halloween, but uh, I didn't get here in time. Last but not least... What so freaking ever, Rawhead Rex Steelbook. Now this goes for, gosh, goes for $40 normally. On the sale it was 20, 50% off, actually 50% off. And the back is just, yes, the back is just the back. Boy, that shiny cover is beautiful. I love this artwork. This is one of my favorite films. Really, really, I don't believe in the devil. Rawhead Rex, a folk horror by Cat Ellinger. Looks like you get a little booklet, maybe a poster. I'll take that out and uh, take a look in a minute. Oh, looks like you do get a little poster, uh, kind of a little centerfold, and an essay. Oh, with some amazing artwork there. Gosh, how wonderful. Very thin little booklet, but that's fine. You get a, you get a poster and a little uh, little write-up. And then the inside there is uh, Rawhead Rex eating somebody. And there's the disc. Beautiful. Oh gosh, I'm so happy to own this. I love this movie. This is a guilty pleasure movie, but it's so fun too. Really well made, in my opinion. Wow, I'm very happy. I'm I, I'm ecstatically over the moon with my uh, Kino Lorber uh, sale purchases here, but I'm a little parched. 
So I'm going to uh, go gra grab a drink real quick. Oh, you beat me in here. You. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. A little zero sugar L-carnitine taurine, whatever the hell those are, in the form of a frosty beverage. Mm. Boy, it's hard to drink when you have a beak. Whew, that's better. You know what I'm thinking? Uh, these were a lot of Blu-rays. Let me move these aside for the moment. I think instead of doing more Blu-rays, let's leave the Blu-ray package for the end, sort of as a bookend, and we'll uh, open up the Full Moon secret surprise. It's been a while since I've ordered anything from Full Moon, but uh, had to do it for this specifically. Ooh, well, first of all, I get a free gift. Puppet Master 5. I don't need it because, uh, well, I've got the Blu-rays. But guess what? I'm adding a sixth gift, a sixth giveaway item to my uh, 500 subscriber contest. So I'm announcing it right now. If you're, uh, if you're watching and if you're interested in uh, submitting to the, my subscriber contest, uh, this is going to be one of the prizes. Number six. I'm adding one. So I'm going to be sending this away to one lucky subscriber of mine so there you go number six puppet master five on dvd i'll even leave the uh free gift uh stick around there for you okay so what did i actually buy check these out this is a uh, doll man kills the full moon universe comic book uh series this is the entire run um i had no idea this existed and then i was just looking you know perusing the sale and i saw this Doll Man Kills the Full Moon Universe. There's six issues. This is, uh, and they all have different covers, by the way. So if you go on there, you might find a different cover. They have like three or four different covers per issue. But uh, I just picked the ones that I liked that I thought were really cool. I mean, Dr. Alien is in this, which is really cool. If you guys remember that movie from back in the day. So this is issue one, Doll Man Kills the Full Moon Universe. This is, of course, referencing, I believe, a Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. Here is uh, Doll Man Kills, The Full Moon Universe 2, uh, featuring Puppet Master and Castle Freak, so I guess he takes those on in this one. I don't know much about it, but I'm very excited. I, I, I took a peek at the artwork uh, online. It looked uh, pretty surprisingly amazing. Uh, part 3 is, uh, or I should say, Issue 3 looks like it's going to be my most favorite. Doll Man Kills, The Full Moon Universe, uh, featuring, of course, Dr. Mordred, the master of the fucking unknown. Uh, drawn by a hack, apparently. Uh, this is great. I, I can't wait to read this one. I'm sure they all connect, so I don't want to skip ahead. But um, I've already uh, I've talked to Little Master about this. I, I read him comic books every night right before bed, and I think we're going to be reading these. Uh, let's see here. Dawn Man Kills the Full Moon Universe. Uh, issue 4. Volume 4, whatever you want to call it. This one's a little strange. Hideous and Killjoy. What a weird combination here. Hideous. Okay. Uh, there you go. Uh, Doll Man kills the Full Moon Universe and he takes on these guys for some reason. Okay. Number five, second to last. Uh, Doll Man kills the Full Moon Universe, issue five. Boy, he looks, oh, there's a lot. Of, what the hell is that snake thing? Boy, there's a lot here. Call me the janitor because I'm about to clean this F up. <laughs> uh, not F up. I guess it's more of a clean this shit up that would make more sense who does he who do you fight in this one uh doll man ragdoll seed people seed people that's seed people right there seed people dr alien uh the creeps yeah who else killer eye what else is killer eye on here oh yeah there you go killer eye uh ginger dead man of course gary Busey's best role Zarkor the Invader. I guess that's Zarkor. And uh, that's it. Oh, Ragdoll. Ragdoll. I don't know. I don't know, Ragdoll. Is Ragdoll on here? I can't tell. Maybe those rag one of those is Ragdoll? I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty uh, action-packed on this uh, uh, fifth issue here. Last issue, as far as I know. Doll Man Kills the Fullman Universe, issue 6. Uh, featuring Trancers. So it looks like he takes on just the Trancers um, franchise. And these are all the people he's uh, slain. This looks like a uh, 
a ripoff of a famous, if I'm not mistaken, X-Men comic. I'm not a big comics guy, but I know I know a little bit. I know a little bit. Looks like he took out a Leech Woman and a Blade there. Uh, and uh, there's a Jack Death holding Doll Man, of course. For those of you who know Full Moon, know that that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, Transfers. Awesome. Final issue, Doll Man versus... Or I should say, Doll Man kills the Full Moon Universe. I'm very excited to read these. If you guys have read these, please let me know in the comments down below for the sale for the um, the Halloween sale, or I should say pre-Black Friday sale at Full Moon. Um, they had these at half off. Um, so I was able to get these for uh, two bucks. Actually, I think they were less than that because uh, I remember them being pretty cheap. But, uh, you know, I, I probably would have paid four bucks for them. But uh, I don't really collect single issues. I like trades. But I thought the price was so good, and there's only six of them that I thought, why not add that to the collection? Last package of the night for my pre-Black Friday haul is from Mondo Macabro. Uh, before I dig into this, I'm feeling a little peckish. All right, what do we got here? Caramel. Caramel's pretty good. Uh, white cheddar or butter. Uh, I'm going to be honest, the butter is a little flat. Not that it's like soggy, it just doesn't really taste buttery. White cheddar's good. As you can see, it's almost done. But uh, I think I'm feeling a little, uh, uh, a little sweet tooth here. So I think I'm gonna dig into this. Mmm, yum. Now that that's settled, uh, let's open Mondo Macabro's uh, crazy bag of sleeves. What is this? What the hell is that? <laughs> Let's see here. First, we'll start with another Paul Nashy treasure. The Devil Incarnate. Remember, no good deed shall go unpunished. Mondo, thank you so much for putting out Paul Nashy stuff. It makes me very happy. 4K transfer from the negative. Interviews with the actors. Uh, a tour of Paul Nashy's study and home. Awesome. Audio commentary with Tony Haworth. Haworth? 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 Um... I don't know if I've seen this movie. Also known as El Caminante, directed by Jacinto Molina. Do you know who Jacinto Molina is, by the way, guys? Well, I'll tell you. It's Paul Nashi. Jacinto Molina was his real name. Uh, Paul Nashi, and it was just like his, uh, you know, pseudonym, his uh, stage name. Next is, you guessed it, Paul Nashi's Inquisition. This one is... Uh, you know, uh, obviously uh, Paul Nashi there. Although this one said Paul Nashi too. Well, let's see on the back if it says Jacinto Molina. It does. It does say Jacinto Molina. 90 minutes, 1976. Special features are HD transfer, newly created subtitles, introduction by, by Paul Nashi. Oh, wow, introduction. That's amazing. Commentaries uh, and a Blood and Sand a documentary on Spanish horror. Ooh, fun. No, that's a sexy cover. Well, that lady doesn't have any boobs. Huh, if she does, her boobs are really high up. Well, that's a very strange picture. The Killer of Dolls, a real hidden gem of Spanish horror cinema. Says Lori Jed. Who the heck is that? Is that just some, somebody on Letterboxd? Wow, that's funny. Uh, Killer of Dolls. This is directed by Michael Schiaffi. 1974. Spain, 103 minutes. Oh boy, whoa man. This looks like a wacky one. Is he laying down next to a mannequin woman? Oh boy. This is a wacky one. Uh, let's see, exclusive interview. Uh, audio comment, two, uh, two audio commentaries, one with Kat Ellinger. Feel free to pause if you want to know what the movie is about. I, I believe it's a Spanish slasher film. Well, there you have it. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Woo! That is a lot of movies. That is a lot of movies I need to watch. Dang. Um, yeah. Okay, great. A lot of movies I need to watch and a lot of shit I need to read. But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys uh, like the best of uh, my, uh, my, my purchases here. If there's anything you own or anything you'd like to own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Well, gang, that'll do it for today. Like I said, uh, out of this whole stack, let me get it over here. Puppet Master uh, 5 is going to be uh, the sixth surprise subscriber gift 
So now there's going to be six winners, not five. So uh, make sure you enter. Go back to that video. I've linked it uh, throughout this video. So go back and make sure you enter and uh, you'll get a chance to win some really nice prizes, including Puppet Master 5 on DVD. Now, I did mention that I had some uh, money-saving news to share with you. Unfortunately, while I was filming this video, that deal has since disappeared, which unfortunately is the nature of Black Friday deals. Uh, they come and they go. This was a buy to get one free on Amazon, also on Target.com. What was really great about it was that they had uh, boutique labels, so you could buy Vinegar Syndrome, Severin, Criterion even, um, and uh, I, uh, I think Coat Red and a whole bunch of other companies, and um, you know, get one for free, which uh, makes the entire package, each individually, much cheaper than if you bought them, even at a Black Friday sale. So uh, I'm gonna keep my uh, eyes open and my my ear to the ground, and if that deal does pop up again, I'll try and uh, get it to you as soon as possible. So, uh, if that's the case, and uh, you're not subscribed, you're going to miss out. So please, do me a favor and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again. Mastercast comes at you daily. I talk physical media, horror movies, Halloween, scary stuff, ghost hunts, uh, movie deals, Black Friday, holiday adventures, a whole bunch of stuff. We have We have a blast. On this channel my friend and, I, and I'd love to have you tag along uh, for now as you can see I've got a pretty hefty stack of movies to watch and uh, not enough time to watch them so without further ado I'm gonna bid you that adieu and uh, I will see you tomorrow I hope uh, this has been your friendly neighborhood master of chaos I hope this video has found you well I wish you the best I really do please remember that I love you and that I always remain to be continued